building your game in RPG Maker MZ, you will most likely use switches and variables. You can have up to 5,000 unique switches and 5,000 unique variables in one game project. Switches can either be on or off. At the start of the game, all switches will begin set to off. You can then use events to turn these switches on and off, and make use of them for event conditions to progress your game's story. Likewise, you can use variables for event conditions. Variables are similar to switches, but they can store number values. At the start of the game, all variables will begin with a value of zero. Number values are useful for things like checking if the player has collected enough items for a quest, how much gold they have, or anything that needs to be counted. In the event editor, every event page can make use of conditions. The last page in the list with its conditions met will be run. Event pages also have an option to use up to four self-switches, which only apply to that specific map event, meaning it will not use up your project's global switches. By making use of these conditions with switches and variables, you can create your game's story, or use events that will stop running once a switch is turned on. For example, let's make an NPC who can only be spoken to once. We'll set up the show text command with the NPC's initial text. After this show text command, use control switches to turn on a new switch. You can name your switches and variables so that you can identify them more easily later. Create a new event page, or you can copy and paste the existing event page and remove the contents to keep your image settings. In the event conditions, tick one of the switch boxes and select the switch you just created. Add a new show text command, and this is what will play out once the player has activated the switch on the first page. For more ideas, try using quick event creation to make a treasure chest and see how it functions. Thanks for watching, and happy game developing!